Welcome back painting friends. Today we are gonna work on a fun, easy fall pumpkin. The colors you're gonna need are blue, green, white, orange, yellow, and brown. Don't forget to have a cup of water and a rag handy for keeping your brushes clean. And then my favorite brushes are my one inch flat brush and then my 10, six, sorry, 10, four, and one round brush. So let's get started. First, I am gonna start with um, just a light blue line, kind of outlining where I'm gonna put my pumpkin so that I don't have to waste too much paint. So my pumpkin is gonna sit down here in this bottom right corner, and I'm just gonna make two large bumps. And this is where my pumpkin's gonna be. And the nice thing about having that there is then I know I don't have to paint down here. So wash that brush off and I'm just gonna set it back in my little brush monster. And then the background, I'm gonna start by adding chunks of white to it. Um, I wanna have kind of a, an easy going background. And so once I have that white in there, I could just drop some blue as well as some green. I'm just taking, I mean, my brush is dirty. I've got all the colors on there. And then I am going to use the letter X to just kind of fill in my background space until I have it mixed to where I want it. I could take my brush and wipe it off a little bit. And if there's a color that I want more of, like I'm seeing there's a lot of green down here, so I'm gonna grab some blue and I'm just gonna add it right in on top of that green. Or maybe I decide I wanna lighten it up all together. I can wash my brush off and dry it off and go back in with some blue and real, sorry, not blue, some white and really kind of lighten that up. I could take this brush, wipe it off, and then I'm going to go ahead and fill my pumpkin in with orange so that I can let it all dry and Come back in with my details. So I've got my orange and I know some of this blue and green is going to mix in but that's okay because this is just my background layer. Perfect. We'll wash my brush off, set it aside. When this dries we will add in the rest of our details. All right, my background's dry, so I'm gonna switch over to a number 10 round brush, and I'm gonna start adding in some of my yellow and kind of blending it in with my orange. So my yellow's really gonna kind of be up here at the top, and I'm just gonna start by covering up that, this top part. We want it to have a highlight on it. And then I'm gonna have a couple of lines that come down on my pumpkin, right about in these areas. And so I'm gonna really kind of fill in the space in between with some of that yellow paint, but letting it kind of fade off into that orange. And I'm kind of liking those lines. Don't worry, we'll add a little bit of orange in and blend it in just a second. from there we're going to take just a little bit of orange and kind of pull it up so a little bit of orange on my brush and I'm just going to pull it up just to kind of smooth out those areas Wash my brush off to get some of that orange off and I'm just gonna go back in with a little bit more yellow right here. That yellow got that orange underneath wet and it really turned orange again and I want it to be yellow. All right, now that that's finished, I can go and I'm gonna water down my brown paint a little bit because I want my lines to be um, just a little bit thinner. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my stock in. And my stock is just gonna be a couple of lines 
up like this. And with that same very gentle touch, I'm just gonna make a curved line that goes from the top right here and just kind of fades off. And then remember those original lines I made? I'm gonna do the same thing with these. So just a light brown line that just kind of fades off as I pull it across. Love that. I'm gonna go ahead and wash that brush off and set it aside. I'm gonna go now to my smallest little brush. It's my number one round brush. I'm gonna take some watered down brown paint and I'm just gonna make some swirls in the sky. And these swirls can kinda go anywhere you want them to go. But this is just a fun little accent, what would be maybe a um, pumpkin vine. take a little bit of that yellow paint and put it right here in my stock as well just for a fun little highlight and then maybe even some white paint right up here at the very top I'm gonna take some watered-down brown paint and just kind of add a couple of little lines in here Pumpkins always have that darker space right up there at the top. So I'm using my number one round brush with some watered down black, not black, watered down brown paint. I'm just pulling some of these lines in just a little bit, just to darken that top space up, give it a little bit of contrast. Maybe even add a more serious swirl going off of my pumpkin too. There we have it. Don't forget, I never get to see what you're making at home unless you share it with me on my Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose. When you finish your picture, you need to take a, picture, a color that's gonna show up well on your canvas and sign your name. So, sign your name, take a picture of it, share it with me on our Facebook page, Painting with a Purpose, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Painting with a Purpose. And remember, as always, stay kind, stay creative, and stay safe. Have a great day, friends. Bye now.